Hi everyone! To finalize our videos on Brisbane, we decided to summarize everything for you to know where to go while you are there. Brisbane is a perfect place if you want to go on a weekend or a three-day trip. It's a super pleasant city, perfect if you want to nail that urban trip. We spent five days there, did a lot of things, including a lot of the city experiences, but we felt that most of them could be accomplished in a two, three days. And you don't even need to worry from place to place. So let's start with the weather. As you probably know, uh, Brisbane is really humid and warm during the summer, so we really recommend you to go while it's spring or autumn, so it's not really hot and not too cold, and you still have a pleasant weather. In regards to transport, you can find a cheap flight from everywhere in Australia to Brisbane and the best way to go from the airport to the city is by air train. You can book it online and it will cost around $15, whereas an Uber will cost $40. It's very easy to drive around the city, there's no major traffic, but if you don't have a car or don't want to rent one, you can rely on public transport. There are free bus routes in the city CBD and free ferry routes from shore to shore. Uh, but if you want to go outside of these routes, you, you have to buy a go-kart, it costs $10, but the good thing is that it is refundable once you leave the city. Actually, there is a lot to do in Brisbane and we will give you a few more suggestions for you to explore. So let's start with South Bank. South Bank is the cultural, social and recreational precinct, a big strip in the south shore of Brisbane River, where you will find the perfect time to relax. The parklands have a mix of a grassed areas, plazas, riverfront promenades and even a beach. Actually, they had a lot of activities for the whole family, a lot of playgrounds for the kids and also events. Yeah, when we were there they had Sunday concerts and they also held uh, Sunday's market, there are a lot of restaurants, pubs, the oldest pub in Brisbane is there. And at the end of that strip, there's uh, an area with theaters and museums. Museums like the Goma, which is the Gallery of Modern Art of Queensland, which is a must-do in Brisbane. Actually, we were really lucky while we were there because we saw an amazing exhibition by the Japanese artist Yayoi Kusama. The CBD is another place you definitely want to go. It's not very busy, it's very walkable. There are some good heritage listed items that you definitely want to check out, like the Brisbane City Hall. It's the biggest in Australia and there's a museum inside where you can go and know a lot about the history of Brisbane. There is also a big pedestrian area, the Queen Elizabeth Mall, where you can find shops, restaurants, coffee shops. Um, we also went to the Botanical Gardens. It's really nice for you to have, do a picnic or even enjoy like the evening or the afternoon just to relax a bit. Now there are two places where you definitely want to have your meals, West End and Fortitude Valley. Fortitude Valley is a very contradictory place. On one hand it's very sophisticated, we have the James Street with all the nice shops, fashion labels and restaurants, but on the other hand you also have kind of a hip and trendy vibe, but also more raw. You definitely want to have a great time exploring the laneways like Bakery Lane, where you'll find the great places to either brunch or dinner. Fortitude Valley is also known by the night environment. Also close to Fortitude Valley you have the powerhouse for a relaxed evening. You can go there to see a theater or grab a bite. Actually this building used to be the main powerhouse to Brisbane. How cool is that? West End is definitely the part of the city to go at night. It's just a 10 minute walk from South Bank, so you can go after having a relaxing afternoon. It has a hipster vibe and is described as a fusion of cultures and a mix of vintage and underground. It has a lot of coffee shops and restaurants. We ate in an amazing Greek restaurant actually and I don't remember the name but we will put in the description below for sure. Um, also it's really difficult to choose among all the bars that they have over there. Some of them they actually have live music which is kind of cool. It's also very laid back, that was what I liked the most about it. And they also have a number of local breweries, so I reckon this is the place for you to spend a night. So Brisbane is perfect for a weekend escape within the city, to relax a bit, enjoy some good food and a good break from a, your routine. But if you have more days, we recommend you to go to Moreton or North Stratbrook Islands. They are the second and third biggest sand islands in the world, the first one being Fraser Island. We went to a day trip in Morton Island and we did an amazing snorkeling over there. They place 15 shipwrecks among the coast to form a break wall uh, for the small boats. And actually the place 
it gives a good environment for snorkeling and to dive. At the moment, the coral is already forming. I don't know how many species they have over there, but you can see a lot of them actually. And you, you can see also dolphins, which is amazing. And Ubergongs. <laughs> After that experience we thought it was worth to spend the night in the island just to have a little more time to explore it. There are campsites there, there are also tours that, we, that have the night included. Do your research because it will seem quite expensive but if you go by yourself it's also a lot of money and plus you have to have a four-wheel driver to wander around the city. Yeah, and we'll link everything in the description our tours so you'll be informed. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So please subscribe and comment like in the comment section if you have any other tip that we might miss. And subscribe if you want to see more yeah. videos. See you around, see you later then. <laughs> Cheers.